Hello, and welcome back for more Fallout 3, where you join me and Liberty here inside of our Megaton home. Last time, we finally wrapped up the Tenpenny Tower quest, and then went on a little wasteland journey. First, to pick up the bonus loot from the Museum of Technology, which is why we have this fancy Chinese assault rifle strapped to our back. And then we picked up a couple of other sites before returning here. We took a few hours sleep in bed, got well rested again, it's now morning outside. And today we're going to continue with the wasteland wandering. A um, few other sites to visit before we finally make our way down to Rivet City. Before that though, we have a lot of inventory to manage. So let's add our new bobblehead to our collector stand. It's now up to five. Yay. And then our toolbox locker. We have some stuff here. Let's see. The lunch boxes. We'll keep two of those. We'll make some more mines with them. Anything else is good. We'll drop off a one sensor module too. We need two of those. All right. And the weapons and armor locker. We can deposit some stuff as well. Let's see, like a 10 millimeter pistol. Haven't been using in place of the submachine gun. Uh, Deathclaw gauntlet we can hold. Laser pistols can stay. Keep the rifle. Mini gun's kind of dead weight. I can stay here for now. Okay, that looks good. And the shady hat's done for now that we have three dogs head wrap. Right. And the refrigerator, because we have so much nuclear right now. Past it. Right. And seven blood packs. 23 nuka, bringing us up to 91. Five more quantum for a total of 13 stocking up nice stealth boys let's keep two of them yeah that's good drop off the sugar bombs as well all right 150 pounds that's a lot of weight managed oh, and on the shelf here um, dropped off the paradise lost which if you look it is a lion congressional style with a different name okay um yeah and before we get off to wandering for the day let's Stop over at Crater Side Supply and visit Moira Brown and her workbench. All of us here thank you for everything you've done. For us. For the Wastes. We pulled together and got you this. It's the best we could do. Please take it. With our thanks. Some yum yum deviled eggs. Uh, certainly. Thank you. Bless you. Yay. Forgot about that, but now that we have a lot of good karma, uh, Megaton settlers from time to time will come up to us and give us random goodies. Sometimes useful, mostly not. So, all right, here we are at Crater Side Supply. Nathan, assume this. Hey, Moira. Any luck finding out how Rivet City got started? Um, I will give her the other answer. I can't get a straight answer out of these folks. Try asking around a bit. You never know who's collected a lot of information, do you? Yeah, let's see what you have for sale. Sure thing. You don't happen to have a toy car for sale, do you? No. Uh, I might buy those rocket launcher schematics one of these days. Would like to buy the workbench off of her. And we'll have one at our house. And for ammo, yeah, we'll pick up her 5.56 five, rounds also. All right. Almost 800 caps. Good hunting. All right, let's go. Try not to die. And let's put on our jumpsuit and hit the workbench. First thing, we can make a shish kebab. Don't try anything. And then make a bottle cap mine. And. And if you notice the tags up in the top left, 
We produce one bottle cap mine at the workbench. You will get three hey, in return. Looks coming along well, thanks to you. What's next? There, it changed a bit. Yeah, three bottle caps. So we can change. Well, let's patch. Patch our shish kebab. And the scope 44s. Okay, we have a Chinese assault rifle there, so we can patch our Shman Long. Yeah, definitely. Okay, now we'll put combat armor back on. And then one final stop I'm curious about before we head out into the waste. Let's go back to Moriarty Saloon. Hi. Inside Moriarty's. Another of those damn love letters arrived for you. And that's what I was curious about. Great, so we get love letter from Burke number two. Love letter from Burke number two. Beloved, the pain of your absence is at times crippling, but I must persevere. I must. It is very important work I am doing for mankind. Oh, but I wish I could sweep it all away to be with you. Now, be patient, love. I will send for you soon. Yours very truly, Burke. Again. Ew. But I honestly don't think I've seen these before. I've likely never come back into Moriarty's at any point to pick them up. So that's kind of neat. Oh, excuse us, Jericho. On your way. You can be a companion if we wanted companions, but nah. All right, let's head outside and get underway. All right, so today's wandering is going to take us back up into the vicinity of, yeah, Moresti Train Yard, Minefield. I'd wanted to explore this area a little bit earlier, but never got back to it. We found a note at the Anchorage Memorial on a wastelander. It mentioned something about a uh, locked safe or something in the scrapyard should be about here ish so we'll look for that eventually but there are a couple other places we can visit in this area so we'll start off at Moresti train yard it's, it's about the closest safest area we can hit and there's the scavenger and his tamed Yaogwai which is no less intimidating, even if it is green and not hostile. Uh, where do we want to go? I want to go a little north of the back of the train yard for our first stop, I think. I'll try to find a way to see map markers. So we want to climb up on the cliffs here, I'm pretty sure. That marker? Probably that marker. Maybe go with a little more caution out the back here. There's something right over there already. Raider? Looks like a raider. Get our snipey sniper rifle. Oh, he's seen us running at us with the pull. Too bad for him, I guess. We got any friends? Mm, no. Anything more than a pull cue on you? Some radix and a pack of cigarettes. Fine. Okay, so we gotta find a way up these cliffs here. Okay, there aren't any more friends hanging out nearby. Can jump this. Yes, we can jump that. This is 
is uh, a little obstructive. Maybe we can get up there. Alright, that worked. like a radio tower antenna visible somewhere up here as well. We're kind of headed out east from the train yard. something darker against my compass there. I can't see the marker. It's not the easiest place to find. It's fairly easy to stumble upon if you're just walking around, but if you're actually looking for it, there it is. <laughs> it's a little difficult. Time for you to bleed. Oh, surprise. Over here, this little bridge. We have found Agatha's house. Should we go inside and say hello to Agatha? I. You certainly do look a little bit worn out from your travels. Oh, just look at my terrible manners. I'm Agatha. It's so nice to meet you. Now, what brings you all the way out here? Exploring. Honestly, there's nothing much out here. Looking for sand, rocks, we have plenty of that. You're welcome to look around this area, of course. Don't let me dissuade you. I'm just trying to save you some time. My husband built this place way out here for a reason. Rest his soul. Oh, your husband's dead? I'm sorry. Well, that's kind of you to say. Yes, he's gone. After he built this place, we spent many happy years together. We decided to cut off contact with the outside world and just depend on each other for comfort and company. A frail old lady like yourself should be careful out here all alone. Old? Yes. Frail? No. I can still hold my own if I have to. 
My husband made me learn a thing or two about how to defend myself. Besides, I have a caravan come through here about once a week to trade. They'd miss me if I was gone. Mm. That sounds risky. What if the caravan never arrives? Well, I always have my husband's old radio set to fall back on. I used it once, in an emergency, when a group of raiders was getting a bit too close for comfort to my house. Otherwise, I use it to broadcast my so-called music I play for my homemade violin. Yeah, we can use the intelligence line. I guess a homemade violin is never quite in tune. Oh, you are a clever one. Yes, that's exactly the problem that I have with it. It doesn't quite play all of the notes correctly, and I have to constantly tinker with it. And your husband's radio can broadcast, a, broadcast across the entire capital wasteland? Yes. My husband was very proud of the setup. He tinkered with that thing for years to get it working. I've tried to use it to get whatever I need, but I've never gotten a reply. And you built a homemade violin, huh? That's impressive. Thank you. Well, my husband had his hobbies. I'm afraid mine was making that sorry instrument. I only wish I could replace it with something better. Well, is there any way I can help? Well, now that you mention it, um, yes, there is. My training depends on my violin. Without it, I have nothing to play, no way to make music. If you can bring me a violin, a better one, I'd feel much more secure. A violin? That's hardly something that would have survived the war. Yes. Very sad, isn't it? Sad to think that no more musical instruments will ever be made the old way ever again. <sighs> well, fortunately, I know where perhaps the last real violin in the world exists. If you give me your word that you will recover it, I will tell you more. Could try the speech check, but... Well, all right. I give my word. I'll do my best to recover a violin for you. <laughs> oh, I don't think I've been this happy in years. I have some information that may help you. At least a place to begin. It all starts with my great-great-grandmother back in 2077, before the bombs fell. 2077? I can't even imagine that long ago. It certainly is a long time. That precious instrument has been through a lot. Anyway, Hilda was quite a special woman, classically trained and exceptionally talented at the violin. Her pride and joy was her Stradivarius violin. I can only imagine how exquisite this instrument must have been. When the war reared its head, she was invited by Vault Tech into Vault 92. They claimed the vault would be dedicated to preserving musical talent. Musical talent? Why would they care about that? Vault Tech was always promoting the vaults being used for the preservation of the arts and all that nonsense. Hilda couldn't pass on a chance to meet many of the other musical talents of the world, so she accepted their invitation. Then the bombs fell, the vault was sealed, and my family never heard from her again. After 200 years, how can you be certain the violin is in decent shape? She kept it in a special pressurized case. Inside the case is the perfect temperature and humidity for the instrument. If the case is still functioning, the Stradivarius would be in perfect shape. Hilda Stradivarius was named the Swa Stradivarius. All of them had names. That's what I want you to get. Any idea where Vault 92 is located? That's the catch. I have no idea where it is. I'd suggest making your way to Vault Tech Headquarters in the D.C. Ruins. That would be a good place to begin. Good luck! Um, I think I never get the quest added Agatha's song. Tell me a bit about your great-great-grandmother. She was quite a special woman. Hilda was her name. Classically trained and exceptionally talented at the violin. 
her pride and joy was her Stradivarius violin. I can only imagine how exquisite this instrument must have been. When war reared its head, she was invited by Vault Tech into Vault 92. They claimed the vault would be dedicated to preserving musical talent. Happily, she accepted. After she entered Vault 92, the bombs fell, and the story as I know it ends. And what do you know about this Voss Stradivarius? Not too much, I'm afraid. It was fabricated way back in 1714 by a famous Italian craftsman named Antonio Stradivari. He had made a bunch of Stradivarius violins, actually, and each one was individually named over time to identify them. They are regarded as the most outstanding instruments ever made, and no two sound alike, they say. Incredible. Since the bombs fell laying waste to most of the world, it may be safe to say that this could be the last surviving violin of its kind. How will I know the Stradivarius when I see it? Well, from my great-great-grandmother's diaries, I have deduced that she had a special pressurized case created for it. Hopefully, the Swa Stradivarius was in the case when she... Well, you know. Okay. Um, is the Stradivarius worth a ton of caps? I hope you're not thinking of doing anything dishonest. You gave me your word. You're right. Let's, uh, let me ask you about something else. Well, okay. Um, yeah, can you tell me anything about vault Tech headquarters? From what I gather, it's located in the ruins of D.C. I got the location from one of the supply caravans. They told me it had extremely high security and something they call a main frame inside. I'd imagine is quite dangerous. I'd be careful if I was you. And do you have any other information on Vault 92? I'm sorry. I wish I did. All I know is that Vault Tech intended it to be a protective environment for the world's musical talent. When the bombs fell, the vault was sealed and the rest is a mystery. Perhaps when you find it, you can find some sort of a record of what occurred inside. All right, well, we have to go. Be careful. I don't want to be responsible for getting you killed. Good. Go ahead and done the speech check. She might have given us the key or something, but that's all. We have another quest. Let's get back out into the wastes. And, yep, yeah, we'll get to that. We're going to explore DC a bit more. Another vault will be exciting. Uh, let's do another couple stem tags here. Yeah, all right, that's good. And from here, now, I'm going to head back to Minefield. Uh, find our map. Okay, yeah. Just a little northeast of us here. Watch for raiders, all that, scorpions, deathclaw, galgui. And then, let's see. Well, we could explore minefield. I said, and that was just near minefield. Better. This looks about the same way we came the first time, following power lines up the hill, which is good because we're headed to another power station. Yeah. 
I mean, there's a lot of stuff in minefield. There's a few houses we can enter. And a couple of skill books at least lying around. Tons of frag mines to pick up and sell. So we might give that a go. But minefield wasn't the important part. by that water tower. setting things showing up on the compass. That's good. We're almost there. We're safe. So this might be a, another area that's dangerous to walk into. For karma marks, at the least, I think. So far, so good. Nice water tower. Scavenger. We might have to go save that scavenger. Ah, uh, you got the scavenger's dog. Bad protectron. The scavenger, all right? Yeah, the scavenger's okay. Get away from that. Finders keepers, I'm warning you. All right, he goes hostile. Can we go hostile? All right, we'll shred him with our assault rifle. Okay, heading up towards this map marker just a little bit. Rise here. some hostilities out front here. MVPL 13. And the two buildings on our left, one on our right here. A precaution. It's difficult to get around that way. Yeah, it's not worth it. Let's go check inside here. Power substation. Another workshop kind of place. Got quantum over here. And a bottle cap mine. And schematics for a railway rifle. Alright, we found one for free. We can have to build one of those. 
railway rifle. Workbench combined, a crutch, a steam gauge assembly, a vision battery, and a pressure cooker. Those are all really heavy, except for the crutch. Great. Well, if we find anything, we'll pick them up. Hard lock computer terminal. And a hard lock safe. Can't do anything with either of those yet. Cigarettes, why not? There isn't much else floating around in here. Shake the box. Okay, no goodies hidden in the box. Alright, well, schematics, not nothing. Let's head back out. And we'll check the other door. Entrance. That might be an entrance too. Let me try the front door. Caution again. Why? Oh, that's working. Not fine. If you want to be annoying, we'll just remove you. Come on then. Some hostiles in here. Some rags in here. Our turret control system. Hard lock. Can't do anything with it though. Oh, hey, I think we're in luck. I heard ghoul noises. Let's put on our ghoul mask. It does take the place of our lucky shades, but that's fine. Okay, we can kind of look a little ghoulish now. Nice. Just put the rifle up and uh, we'll go have a look around. Grab two nukes out of there. Sweet. Hey, guys. We gotta go upstairs for what we're looking for. Let's see if there's anything worth anything down here. Tool cabinet. Empty tool cabinet. Alright, the other one. Yeah, was another entrance. We can use the light too. They're not gonna harass us. Lockers. Very easy personal for Walker. Sure, we'll have some XP. Bottle caps, Psycho, and that's it. And XP. Empty, 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 empty. Nope, that one's not empty. It's got nothing. First aid box with a stem pack. We're slowly getting irradiated in here, but we're gonna be fine. Upstairs. Oh, the ghoul mask is so nice. There's this door here. Yeah, we'll see what this door is. Ooh, there's a glowing one in here. Yeah, definitely glad we have the ghoul mask now. Safe in the floor, average lock safe, average lock terminal, and Fisto is what we come here for. A unique power fist. Um, we'll just pick the lock. 
I am curious if there's anything on the terminal, though. Maybe we'll do both. Another laser pistol, sure. Alright, all of the cabinets are empty. Um, fine, let's put on the lab uniform. If nothing else, it's XP. not end in ED then. That's cowardly compare. I think that's it. So 44 XP for that. And now it just opens the save. Oh well, we double dip. Yay. See if there's anything else up here. Eh, just a look. Never know. Just be skill books hanging out on top of terminals somewhere. You know, go and look at them. And in this case, there aren't. Okay. That's a small building. We can leave. shooting at me. Okay, yep, that's some talent. Ouch, 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 ouch. I have a bunch of these stem packs there. Catch. We're gonna go down. Ow! Don't take stim packs fast enough. Stop it. Go away. Go away now. Serious battle of attrition here. Just too, too many stim packs. No Chinese assault rifle, we need it. And the Talon armor. We definitely need the vodka after this nonsense. Good grief, y'all. Yeah, Karma Marks are the worst. Is there still a third one somewhere? Ridiculous. Alright. Do some patching. Assault rifle up. 
other one yet. Something else. No. And the combat armor. <sighs> Destroyed. I wonder where you're getting hurt so bad. Nighttime. What time is it? 9.30. Go inside and wait till morning. Map. Okay, yeah, we're still a good distance up from minefield and back down towards the scrapyard. And ultimately, Bethesda ruins about here. Hmm. Did go back down to the train yard too. Yeah, let's just stay the night in here. Okay, may as well just clip this part here too, I guess. We're gonna spend the night, so. All right, took a journey north, found Agatha's house, a unique power fist, Fisto. We might have to try that out at some point too. And next time we'll carry on with this wasteland ex excursion, which will ultimately result in a bobblehead. Um, yeah, before I forget too, let's put the lucky shades back on. I see the cool mask in the light here. Alrighty, and so yeah, we'll just leave it here. Next time we'll carry on with our journey. Until then, thank you for watching, and bye.